Hello, welcome to Fresh Ed Comics. I'm B. Luke. And I'm Amy. And this is The, the Rundown. Rundown, Indie Edition. If it ain't Marvel or DC, we're talking about it here. And we're talking about all the new books out this week, March 22nd. And we've partnered with Fat Cat Comics to bring you this show. And we're actually doing a special contest. We're giving away this copy of Berserker. If you guys like any of the Rundown videos this week and next week, you have a chance to win. How do you do it? You gotta like. You gotta comment. You gotta to share it's that easy but there's only three episodes left to enter so good luck everybody b luke what do you got up first for us this week hi daddy we have a special treat for you from archie's comics we have pops cock shoppies of horrors you mean pops chocolate shop of horrors oh pop Jordan, did you hear that? She said it correctly. She's the smart one. Fans of Good Mythical Morning will love this one as the story is written by one of the Mythical crew's own, Jordan Morris, and man, I thought Cotton Candy Randy was creepy. No wonder Link doesn't like having you around. Also, this cover was done by who's going to be a guest at Wellsboro Comic Con this year in August. So if you live around or near upstate New York or the Pennsylvania area, you're going to make sure you pick up this cover A so you can have him sign it. Jennifer Harlow is heading back home to celebrate the sale of her father's business, but dark secrets from Port Harlow's past is about to resurface, threatening everything her family has built. The hooked horror of Harlow begins here, and you will not want to miss it, in the curse of Cleaver County, number one. I've missed you, Donnie Cates. It's been three months since we've seen Vanish. He's left Marvel since November. I hope you're doing okay, because boy, what a writer. If you're a fan of psychological books, of what's real and what's not, read this book, Vanish, issue five. You don't have to read any other book. Just read this book. It is a mind-bending adventure, and of the likes you've never seen. And the art by Ryan Stegman is just the icing on this beautiful cake. It's amazing. Morty is getting pretty comfortable with his new adopted fish dad. That is, until summer breaks up the party. Meanwhile, Rick is sick of this sh Morty and decides to go directly to the source. Will Rick be able to save his family from the clutches of Cthulhu? Find out for yourself in the finale of Rick and Morty vs. Cthulhu, number four. Torrent issue two. When we last saw Cracker Jack, her husband was murdered, her house was blown up, and her son was kidnapped. With nothing left to lose, she's going to get her son back one way or another. Blue Book Issue 2, Betty and Barney finally arrive home safe after their encounter with a flying saucer. But something feels off. Why did it take them an additional two hours to get home? And why don't either of them remember the drive? Dino Draken is back from prison, and first order of business is to get those pesky gargoyles. Come on, Goliath. Don't fall for this trap. You're smarter than that, dude. Duncan trains to be the legendary fighter he's destined to become in Dune, House of Harkonnen, Issue 3. In Massive Verse News, the last chapter of Inferno Girl Red, Part 3, is here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 138 is also out this week. Godzilla, the best of King Ghidorah, is here. It's a big, giant, 100-page pay, issue of his best stories. If you are a big fan of him, definitely going to want to check this out. From Mark Millar's universe, Magic Order 4, issue 3. And that about wraps up all the indie books this week. Thank you guys so much for watching the rundown. Make sure you like, comment, and share so you guys have a chance to win this book. And we will see you guys next week for the rundown. You know what time it is.